Hello everyone, so I haven't made a video in a while and that is because <coughs> the cockpit I've been working on for my simulator wasn't working out uh, was a bit too big and out of proportion so what I've done is I've made a new one and there it is so I've decided to build the second one out of wood <coughs> because it's much easier and quicker than fiberglassing and making a mold and everything so it's basically made out of uh, MDF MDF strips some pine and then covered in plywood Can just show you there it is so this one is about about 120 millimeters uh, narrower than the other one also about 100 millimeters uh, shorter um, shorter is that the correct term? Um, yes the other one was way too way too wide um, and didn't quite look like an aircraft cockpit now the way the way I got the shape of the uh, of the cockpit is I found, let me just show you, I found these plans for a Piper Seneca on the internet. <clears throat> this is for a model, for a model, a model aircraft. Um, I don't know what the precise scale is, they don't show it, or they don't state it but I worked it out comparing it to uh, the actual aircraft this one is about <coughs> well the ex actual aircraft is about 5.7 times bigger than this one so what I've done is I took these uh, these drawings of all the ribs uh, and I scaled them up 5.7 times the original size then I print them, printed them out on lots of paper full size and stick them to a piece of wood or to the MDF and then I basically just cut cut around them to get the shape uh, of the cockpit so this one should be very accurate to the uh, actual aircraft I've also started building the instrument panel uh, there's my fire quadrant it's a go flight TQ6 uh, here's the instrument panels and a little bit sunny So there's the pilot side instrument panel. I've also started printing out these plastic rings on my 3D printer just to make the instruments uh, better looking. So that's the pilot side instrument panel. And here is the co pilot side. And those two computer screens will go behind each of these instrument panels. I also found these two seats. It's basically office chairs with the uh, armrests removed and I made these, these steel brackets <coughs> uh, in place of the armrests so that they will fit inside the cockpit 
but it's just basically just office chairs and I'm gonna put them on rails like these so they can slide backwards and forwards well they will be able to slide all the way out of the simulator to to make it easier to get in also uh, oh yes the way that I was able to bend the plywood <coughs> to all of these curves is by I took the plywood and then I put them in our swimming pool for a couple of hours and that softened the wood so that I was able to get them to bend all around all of these uh, curves <coughs> 